We're coming live from Minnesota with the JW Solo USA. Folks, happy holidays to everybody. And uh, I have something here I was going to show you guys that's really going to um, make you happy or maybe, you know, shake you up a little bit for the holiday. And I uh, thought it wise for me to do a video. It has been sitting for a while, but since it's a time for festivities and uh, holidays and celebrations and graduations, anniversaries, weddings, and uh, hall, you know, uh, decoration or decorative places, uh, whatever you want to do, uh, this one will work for you. Let's check this out, what we have here today, live at JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. This is what I have for you guys here. These are LED strip lights. And it comes in a three spool or rolls, you call them. And this is what we have here. It's a total of uh, six 49 footers. 49 foot long. So I didn't know that it's going to come like this. But, um, and this is what I receive, which probably, uh, you guys are already aware of. But anyway, it comes with a remote and it comes with a, a control module that controls the LEDs, how they are supposed to work and different coloration. And, um, guys, this is just awesome. So I just want to do a quick review on this. I don't want to take all you guys time as you guys are ready for, you know, celebrations with your family. Some of you guys I know traveling is kind of really difficult, but hey, wherever you are, just remember that your family is always with you. You know, they feel your pain. It's not one person. This is always on the other side as well. We are all going through this. So we have to find something to do. That's what I'm doing right now to show you guys or make you cheer you guys up a little bit, make you guys laugh, you know, or maybe sit on the TV or computer and look at some of our work. And uh, you might probably, when you find a time that you're going to find happiness or something to do, feel like uh, doing something, you can able to go ahead and order this stuff when everything comes back to the new normal because it's not going to be normal normal anymore so yeah these are the lights that we have and it shows you an arrow right here this will have to be parallel to each other to the plug this is the the main module this is a converter if you can see right there, there is a, a little notch. Right there, there you go. That arrow is supposed to be uh, perpendicular to that here. On the black, you can see it easily. So it's supposed to go. See how it is? You have to flip it the other way so that the arrows are parallel to each other and they have a little pins here and this is the little sensor for the uh the remote to uh the ir sensor to communicate so just if you don't get this thing um parallel to each other and the arrows are in the same direction is not gonna work okay it's not gonna blow up but it's not just gonna work so let me show you um, this is, um, okay, let's go back to this. This is a, a converter, an AC to DC converter. So the RGB control box with the IR sensor on it. So the input voltage you can see is a 12 volt, which is powered by this guy. Is an AC to DC, and here are the specs for that. 
Okay, it's a 12 volt 3 amps, it says. Output 12 volt 3 amps is uh, 110, 120 volts AC. So you can use this even in national. All right. And it comes to this box right here. Put on the corner right here. It says it can be output current all to about six amps. That's the thing that really confused me. The output this one can give you six amps, so you can daisy chain a lot of these guys here, which is six amps. Which the controller, the main charger is three amps. I don't get it. Okay, so that means you can have this box. Okay. And wire more of these ones. I can't tell you how many strings you can wire it in series. Um, this box can able to accommodate. I have to send a message back to um, the vendor and trying to ask what is the uh, actual recommendation for this device. How many strings of uh, light? That this thing can able to take or accommodate so these are the little gadgets I have here for you guys today um, as you guys already seen the LED lights so I'm gonna connect this guy here to the power grid oh before doing that you don't have to have you can use this one even in your RV. You can use that um, um, in your little shed or uh, gazebo or whatever you want to use it on. Because a 12 volt, you can just use this box here, this control box, and get this um, adapter here. If you're able to cut something like this and that can fit in here. And cut a piece of this here or use the entire utilize the entire wire and you can put a fuse line a line a fuse line or line a fuse in a line or whatever and um, you can put a six amp or three amp or whatever it is you want to use it or breaker two amp breaker three amp breaker whatever and you can able to control this with a DC by 12 volts for you guys that have a 12 volt ba battery bank. It's good for RVs and good for all the 12 volt um, uh, uh, um, um, operation. So this is the main thing, just a step down. This is just a a, a, a converter, like a, tra a transformer. Exactly, it's a transformer stepping it into 12 volts from 110 to 240 volt. And it steps down to uh, 12 volt six amps this is a three amp is a six amp you can accommodate so let's go about it and plug this guy it has a little blue light on the corner right here that illuminate and makes it really cool so stay tuned and let me show you how it works like and subscribe jw solar usa thanks for watching and uh just want to show you this cool gadget here so you can take a quick look and they are pretty cheap it's not expensive at all so you can do this yourself okay all right let me get the lighting better for you guys to see stay tuned all right we just add a power strip thing here so we're gonna plug this bad boy this one to the power strip here I, I have to try that too on a 12 volt on my next videos to just to show you guys you guys with a 12 volt system can still work and we're gonna plug this one see that in here and it's already plugged and this module here is already connected so check this out So we already have this thing on and you can see the blue lights on 
really cool any of the blue lights are always cool so I just want to show you here set the camera good for you to see All right. okay so there we go so make sure that a lot of people kind of panic because they said the remote doesn't work there is a little plastic uh film here you have to take this one that disconnect the battery not to drain you pull that one it's already disconnected and uh, here's the power button there you go voila lit so this is the remote for it you can do different colors and you can contrast this and dim the lights and you can bright them up the remote and you can use different functionalities here and they do different things so let's change the lights to green see that it's really cool so dim the lights and let's go blue and let's go red orange is going to mix a little bit of color <clears throat> so anytime i push one it's going to change so that goes kind of purple age some of them you can even see is a little indication of the leds is doing it okay and uh, yellow you see so now let's do a quick and slow and push to the higher sensor here or well, let's do the auto so the auto is going to be doing different kind of stuff so what we're going to do now we're going to dizzy chain this remaining ones here so that they can hook up to these other partitions and they can go in sequence and you can do a uh, seven fade see that they can do different things you're fading out it's really cool so let's turn this one off and connect these ones again so remember you always have to have that little notch arrow right here but we have to turn the power off we don't want to blow anything and um, we have this notch it's already here and we're gonna connect brighten up the camera again and connect this one the pins are really tiny so very very be careful be careful with this so you can't ruin it and um, we have an indication right here and we have right one there or we can use this other side of it and get these boys powered up Like I say, um, very be careful with the pins. It can be very delicate. So now we have these uh, uh, LED strip lights already connected. Oh, we daisy chain them. We have the IR sensor here to uh, trigger with the remote right here. So let's take a look and see what we've just done here and um, trying to get it in a way that you guys can see it really good okay now let's dim again the light okay drop the lights and um, 
and you can see the blue light is still is off on the charger it's gonna be flash because I turned the uh, the switch and now the blue light is there that tells us it's working so let's take a look here and turn power up this thing by pushing the red button they're all here and lit up so this one is really you can see as you can see here and kind of nice color let's take a look here quick I know this one is kind of a little bit not that bright or what okay let's take a look and get this one part this other side and let's see let's try it again so I can see more brightness I think this one because I don't know, this one is not okay they're bright there you go so it's doing the uh, I think it's doing the uh, the fade 7 is called so the fade 7 So these are very very efficient but I, I I was when I'm testing I can feel a little temperature like they kind of warm especially the first string here and this not that bad so you have to they, they, it's a, it's a, a kind of like um a, a velcro you can just peel and stick you can peel this thing I just don't want to take everything out of the, uh, the 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 rolls right now or the reels and I just want to leave them the way they are, but I can peel them and stick them to um, any places I want to do. I want to put them. I want to place them. So a lot of functions here. Then now you daisy chain them. You have an option to change different colors. See what I'm saying? It's a red here. Then you can have a blue. You can have a purple. It's mixed. You know how you do. Um, color skewer call it you the green and that and that you can see a little bit changes as the lights you push any button there are a lot of effects yellow so yellow it's kind of mixed with different colors to give you a combination of everything so now i'm dimming the lights look at them they dim 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 so it has a dimmer on it as well so i want you to See, I'm brightening up, pushing this button right here, the white one on the corner. So, see, all bright up. So, guys, this is all I have. You can change different DIY to DIY functionality, how you want to set them up. You can put it on a jump, the jumping. That's um, jump seven. So, the jumping everywhere. So we're using jump three. And we have fader three. This one here. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, different colors for you guys to see. And let's go flash. Okay. We're going to go into the flash now. It's flashing. You can do different lights or lighting. And we can put it onto auto. In the sequence. And <clears throat> I've learned you can pause this one if you like get a, a, a color that you like. You can pause it just like that. You see, I push the play and pause. I can pause each one of them. 
the style. Okay? And I can put it in a slow motion. It's pretty interesting. So, and put it into auto again. Then I can look for pause. I can, I see, I just paused it on that color. And I can pause this work on this color. Okay, let's pause it. I paused. So it depends what you want. You can keep on one, you know, the way you want the lights to be. You can keep them on that kind of mixture, combination, whatever. So that gives you instead of fading on and off like that. Some people don't like that. But hey, guys, I just want to show you um, what you can do with these little guys. Um, when it comes to technology, it's pretty cool. Interesting. Nice flashing. He's doing all his thing. He, he do the um, the auto. So, hey. I hope you find this video helpful and uh, subscribe to our channel at JW Solo USA. Love you guys all and thanks for watching. Season greetings to you guys all and please stay safe and uh, see you on the next video. Bye for now. So they tend to have a little bit temperature. So for some reason, the first one is kind of warm. This one's a kind of cool. Maybe we can change um, the polarity again and see. But they're all reeled up into this one. Or I call them they're already on their own whatever cocoon. So they stay like that for now till I'm ready to do the install this one's kind of a little bit warm so i think it's taking the heat from this guy there right here very close tell me what you think and uh we'll go back if you want to see more reviews on this or you want to see an install of these remote is cool um it has a uh, r <clears throat> cr twenty twenty five lithium battery on it sorry lithium battery so yep there we go see you on the next video i have some gadgets coming up i gotta show you guys a little stuff and these are very cool i'm showing you this video because there's a project behind it and um these guys are pretty cool watch for that video coming up stay tuned always stay active on my channel Remember to subscribe and smash that light bell or that button. Bang! Then you can have notifications coming all the time. You can miss any of my videos. And uh, you've seen a review of this one. It's pretty cool. It's coming up. Big project. A lot of series of videos coming up. Little boxes, gadgets, and they are here. They're coming up. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys busy for the holiday. At least you got something to look at or something to watch or keep you excited. Maybe I'll try. But like always, love you guys all. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching.